Hi, John Wesney, Superintendent of Centerville City Schools. We're off to a great start for the second half of the school year. As we get started in the second semester, this is a great opportunity for me to catch you up on what's been happening across the district over the last couple of months. Most importantly, we like to talk about our students who continue to grow and show growth uh, as they start to rebound or have been rebounding from the pandemic. For example, our K-3 students, winter map assessment scores have either met or exceeded their growth pr projections in both reading and math. So we're excited about how our students are performing on their math assessments as they have met or exceeded growth in those areas. For all of us, the administrators, the staff, the teachers, and support uh, personnel, we are dedicated to empowering, challenging, and supporting our students as they continue to grow. A few more updates from around the district. As we enter the new calendar year, we took an opportunity to reflect on our accomplishments during the 2021-22 school year. Be sure to check out our up-to-date quality profile on the district website under the About Us menu. Our teachers are committed to improving their skills. More than 70 have completed training to learn more about how fundamental math skills affect students' future understanding. Teachers are also completing Orton-Gillingham training to better support beginning readers. Last summer, a large district team participated in training around multi-tiered systems of support, or MTSS, to develop layers of support for students who are struggling with academics, behavior, or social-emotional regulation. Our K-5 buildings now have teams in place to begin putting what they've learned into action. Tools like Mathia and IXL at our secondary levels provide real-time feedback to teachers so they can adjust to the needs of their students. This month, CHS students have the opportunity to explore career education programs and AP courses uh, before creating their schedules for next year. Plus, one of the state's largest career, college and career fairs will be held at CHS on March the 7th. A big congratulations to our girls golf team and the girls tennis doubles team of Caroline Henshaw and Clara Owen. They were both state champions this fall. We've had the chance to enjoy concerts by our talented performing arts groups. Our band, orchestra, and choir and dance programs entertain crowds throughout the fall and winter. You can see why we are recognized once again as one of the best communities for music education by the NAMM Foundation. Mark your calendar for CHS Theater's upcoming performance of Radium Girls on January 26th through January the 28th. Right. Our schools we're excited again to host in-person Veterans Day celebrations in November, from musical tributes to breakfast to commemorative walks. Schools and student groups organize donation drives at of the holidays to collect coats and other accessories, canned foods and books, and even more. Our annual Adopt-A-Family program assisted 127 families, 294 children with food baskets and gifts. This week, we inducted 199 juniors and seniors into the National Honor Society. They're these students who excel in the areas of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. The, the Purposeful People Character Education Program at our primary and elementary schools is helping staff to, to be intentional about focusing on important life skills, such as developing empathy, learning how to work with others, and showing gratitude. Once middle school students and staff heard a powerful presentation from It's Time To, whose mission is to address bullying and raise awareness of mental health issues using real life stories. Centerville schools are in no place for hate. Our schools are incorporating a pledge that encourages individuals to treat others respectfully into their existing character education programs. Parent Square is being used across the district. Our plan is to fully transition this platform by next school year. Since August, over 500 of our staff members have communicated using ParentSquare. We've sent out over 600 school-wide posts and more than 6,000 classroom-level posts. We're excited to announce that we have more presentations planned as part of the ongoing safety series. These are free and open to the community. On Wednesday, January the 18th, Stephen J. Smith from A Wired Family will talk about how to keep children safe online. And on Thursday, February the 23rd, Emily White's from the On Our Sleeves movement at the Dayton Children's will help us learn how to improve conversations with our children. We are also playing programs in March and April. 
Several Safe, a nonprofit run by parents, made sure our classrooms were stocked with supplies that might be needed during an emergency. Thank you to everyone who donated. Ready Electric is finishing up a replacement of the electrical line that runs from Centerville High School to the football stadium. Our treasurer's office was recognized once again with the GFOA Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting for the fiscal year 2021. Our, our district leadership team is continuing to look at ways we can save money while maintaining the wonderful educational experiences I've shared throughout this video. School safety continues to be a priority for us and for our community. We want to remind everyone that we do have a program offering free gun locks to anyone who needs them. Just stop by the Board of Education office behind Klein Elementary to pick up a gun lock to help keep firearms secure. Finally, although temperatures have been warmer lately, it is still winter. Information about school delays and closings was sent out through Parent Square and can also be found on our website under the Students and Families menu. We will use Parent Square Alerts to communicate any school closures and delays. As always, we appreciate your continued support of our staff and students uh, here in the district. Uh, to stay up to date on our communications, uh, feel free to check out our uh, weekly e-newsletter. Uh, we have information on our website for you to see, and obviously you can follow us on our social uh, media events. Uh, Accent our schools will be out soon, and please take the time to catch up to see what is happening within the district.